Hi, I'm Rachel Prophet. I'm a white female. My pronouns are she and her. Uh, I have long reddish brown hair that's tied up in a tight bun today and I'm wearing a blue t-shirt that says Colorado Spirit Trail on the front. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to get started on your learning journey with Dynamics 365. Now, if you're new to Dynamics 365, you might be wondering, how do I really get started learning about Dynamics 365 and maybe even the Power Platform? So what I'm going to show in this video is how you can use the learn content that's available for free to anyone out on the Microsoft Docs site. So I've got my browser open and I'm here on docs.microsoft.com. And um, you'll notice when you log into uh, this page or you, you first open this page, um, you'll see a couple different tiles. The first tile here is the documentation tile, the learn tile, a Q&A, and some code samples. What I really want to focus in on today is the learn tile. So I'm going to click on learn. And then um, it's going to bring you into the actual learn site. You can navigate straight to this, save this to your favorites, whatever you might want to do. Now, I do strongly recommend that you create an account and sign in so you can save your progress and you earn points and badges and things like that as you complete your learning. So if you don't already have an account, make sure you create one and use that sign in button up at top. If you just want to kind of look around and kind of see what's out there, you can also do that without creating an account, but it's totally free to create your account. It'll just save your progress. So a couple different options. You can start by clicking on this browse all paths. Um, or you can browse the full catalog. So when you first come out to this site, um, you have the ability to kind of create your interests. Now I've already done this, um, so I'm gonna actually use this edit your interests button. And it's gonna take me through a wizard. So if you haven't done this before, instead of the browse all paths, it's gonna give you a button that you can click on to kind of design your own path. Um, for mine, what I clicked on was business analyst. Um, you can multi-select and, and highlight as many different kind of roles that you're interested in. And then when you click next, it's going to ask you what your skill level, level is. I chose beginner, so it's just going to filter down and show me the beginner type topics. Um, if you're not sure on any of these answers, you do have that ability to say, I'm not sure yet. And it won't filter down based on a specific skill level. When you click next, it's going to ask you which products you're interested. Right now, I've got Dynamics 365 selected, but if I also wanted to choose the Power Platform, I can choose any of those different Microsoft technologies I'm interested in and click next. Um, and then to, to see your actual recommendations, you will need to sign in um, and create that account. And the system will save those recommendations and your preferences for kind of how you want to filter down. Um, every time you come back to this site. Now, the other option when you come to the site is to just browse the catalog. Um, if you want to browse the catalog or you're looking for something very specific, you could just start by typing into the search bar up top, or you can click on browse the full catalog, which will bring you to a new page. Now, by default, um, this page won't be filtered by anything. You could start typing in to find a product, or you can use the drop down box up at the top and select a product this way. We also have the ability for you to filter down by roles, um, specific certifications, and so on. So when I choose the Dynamics 365 product, it will highlight some specific paths for me. Now, I do recommend that you start with a learning path. And if you're just getting started with, say, Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations apps, then I suggest you start with this getting started with Finance and Operations apps learning path. When you click on a learning path, you can see what's inside of that path. So each learning path will have, um, you know, multiple different modules. So this one has a multiple modules. The first one's about introduction, um, navigating, getting started uh, with finance and supply chain management, production control, and how to get help and learn more. If you want to save an entire learning path, you can do that by clicking on the save icon here. Again, you will need to be signed in to save anything, or you can click the save icon on a specific um, page. 
Now, if you're really interested in a specific topic, like let's say you're really interested in mixed reality, instead of starting a learning path, you can actually jump right to this topic and learn all about mixed reality by clicking on this. Um, you can see all of that information. Depending on the lesson, there might be some videos that you can play. Um, some learning paths have interactive labs that you can log into the software and walk through a scenario on your own. And when you get to the bottom of every uh, path, you'll get to a continue page. And in this case, the, the next page is actually a test your knowledge. So you can actually take a quiz and kind of see if you um, retained the information that we were trying to get across in that particular um, lesson or that particular module. Um, and once you go through those and you pass these, you'll notice that you're getting experience points. And as you build experience points, in the Learn site, you'll get different badges uh, to display on your profile within that Learn site. So now you've seen how to kind of get to the Learn site, uh, some of those learning paths that I recommend to get you started on your learning journey with Dynamics 365. Be sure to check me out on YouTube, follow me on LinkedIn, check me out on Twitter, whatever your social media platform is. If there's something you wanna learn about, be sure to comment or reach out to me.